Hey there, I'm August Bryce with techwellness.com. Today we're gonna to talk about Bose Sleep Buds. Now if you subscribe to my channel or if you've been to my website, you know I do a lot of videos that help make the invisible radiation that comes from all of our wireless devices visible. And I do that because I'm sensitive to the EMF. I know without a doubt that that energy messes with the energy of my body and I'm thinking it could be happening to you. So if you can see it and if you become aware of some of the symptoms like headaches and numbness and tingling and ringing in the ears, maybe you'll be able to know and then make different choices. So how do we make that invisible radiation visible? Well, we do it with meters like these. I love this new meter, I'll talk about that. And meters like this. So let's get to it. Let's take a look at the Bose Sleep Buds. So a while back, my daughter sent me this post on Bose Sleep Buds. And she said, Mom, come on, you gotta check these out. They're in your ears. So of course, I bought some. Yeah, people don't send me things for free. I buy what I test. So I bought these beautiful sleep buds and they really are lovely. And they fit into your ears and play soothing sounds so that you can sleep. Sounds like the forest and ocean and birds chirping. And they do all of this through a connection to your smartphone via Bluetooth. So let's talk about the meters we're using today. This is my favorite meter. This is the safe and sound meter, which I love that we have available on the site. It's very easy to read, slight, moderate, high, extreme. It's designed by electrical engineers. It's very accurate and calibrated. And you'll see in my home, we're getting that little bit of moderate. That's because the Bluetooth is enabled on my husband's phone because we want to show you what happens when we connect to the sleep buds. And this is the TES RF meter. I like this because it gives me a numeric reading. And I really love it because I put it on that max setting. And that max setting allows me to see maximum measured value. I use microwatts per centimeter squared, which is that setting. Okay, so the thing that you need to know about the sleep beds is in order to set them up, you do need to have internet access. We're all wired up to the internet. I've set them up. I've got them out of their little sleeping case, so they're working. They're playing beautiful sounds of tranquility. And over here, look at the radiation though. It's not tranquil. Okay, so this is the radiation coming from the cell phone. It is on Bluetooth. So this is just Bluetooth energy coming from the cell phone. This is the reading that we're getting. Now let's move over just to the Bose headsets. You'll see that it's lower. This is extremely low energy, but it's not low enough. Look at on our safe and sound meter. It's registering high and it's a solid high. Now I'm gonna get the maximum measured value in microwatts per centimeter squared, just coming from the sleep buds. And in a moment, I'm gonna show you this new phone free mode that they've enabled. Well, you can see we're still getting the energy and our maximum measured value is at 0.192. I'm gonna do something crazy. We're gonna turn off the phone. Okay, we're gonna turn off the phone right now and see what happens next. Okay, so right now we are going to put these into phone free mode. Oh, look how they call them wellness buds. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, we're gonna go to phone free mode. It wants us to know there are certain things that we can't do when it's in phone free mode, like change the volume. And I'm going to set up phone free mode. Okay, I'm gonna turn down the volume a little bit. Timer, let's look at the times. Oh, yeah. Definitely don't want these in longer than 30 minutes. That's good. And then now I can enable phone free mode. Okay, but we see the meter still going because we've got to go take off our Bluetooth. And, ah, look at that. So the ambient energy in the room has gone down and we're into a nice safe zone. I'll turn the TS meter back on so you can see, but it will be the same thing. But I want you to see what happens when we get next to the Bose sleep buds. Hopefully they as well will be in the safe zone. Let's go here. Oh no, look, not at all, not at all, darn. Okay, imagine the meter's your brain. The wellness buds get closer and closer, and look, the level goes to extreme. So the radiation goes right straight down the ear canal, right next to your brain. In fact, just to prove it to you, I'm gonna turn the phone completely off but the energy is absolutely coming from the sleep buds. Let me put this over here. 
Let me go like this with the phone. iPhone is off. Sleep beds are still working. And look, okay, with this meter, we're into great, right the safe zone, and that's because RF radiation dissipates with distance. And the further that you can get away from it, the better. And if you really insist on wearing these sleep beds, you can set them to a lower timer setting, even 30 minutes. And once that setting is achieved and the 30 minutes is up, it stops. So there will be no radiation coming from the sleep buds when they're not on, and that's a good thing. But if you're sensitive like me, I would never use these. And if you're just concerned about the RF radiation and the other health effects and you want to know more, please visit techwellness.com. We have lots of links to lots of great research. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you like it a lot, subscribe or share it. I'm August Bryce for techwellness.com. Be well.